Okay, I wanted to make this video today so I can discuss how you can save money using a new style of dimmer for your home. The old dimmers, they actually were a resistor. So they didn't save energy, they just burned the electricity at the dimmer instead of the bulb. And with this setup, basically again, I have a new modern dimmer. I've also got a watt reader. And I've got three different bulbs. The standard of a incandescent, and then a compact fluorescent, and also an LED. I'll connect each one and show you the difference in savings. Okay, so now I've connected my incandescent bulb to the dimmer. I'm gonna turn on the switch here. Now this is a 65 watt incandescent. And here you can see on our reader that we are currently using just over 65 watts. And now I'm going to go ahead and dim this down for you. And you can see at our lowest setting, we've now set this bulb down to just over 9 watts. But then again, we have very little light to show for it. Okay, and our next bulb is a compact fluorescent, CFL. This one is rated at 20 watts. I'm going to go ahead and start this one up. Now, the compact fluorescents, I'm going to hide it a little bit just because it's a directional. Compact fluorescents take a little bit of time to warm up. But you can see, even though this one is rated at 20 watts, we are already at 22. And this one often gets just up above 23. Um, also, this compact fluorescent is not designed for dimming. So this uh, example of dimming will not be great, but you can still get a general idea. So you can see we're almost at 23 watts. But once I bring this one down, I can get it down to just uh, around 8 watts. So uh, just over half. So even with a uh, compact fluorescent, you can save with a dimmer. All right, and our last bulb is a LED. This one is rated at only 9.5 watts. It is designed for a 6-inch can. It is by far one of my favorite lights. And let me show you the full power. They are quite bright. Um, they're supposed to be equivalent of a 65-watt incandescent, but I feel they are actually much brighter than that. And you can see at its full power, we are only using just over 9 watts. We're not even getting to the 9.5 that this particular bulb is rated at. And let me show you what we can do with the dimmer here. We can actually bring this one down to just over a watt. And even compared to the incandescent, there's a decent amount of light coming out for only a watt and a half of usage. And that's just some of the ways you can save power with a dimmer.